So one idea in particular when I was talking about the transverse abdominis, I was suggesting that you can use that to create an upward pull on the ASICs, which in turn helps to anchor the hip flexors, the tensor fascia lati, the sartorius, and the rectus femoris, all three of which also work on the knee. So by pulling inwards on the transverse abdominis, creating an upward pull on the ASICs, you can have a positive effect on your knees. So, but in light of the idea that the obliques and rectus from uh, rectus abdominis are also activating, what you thus get is when you when you activate the, the transverse abdominis, you create a pull. You can create an upward pull not only on the ASICs. If if you are aware enough, you can also create an upward pull on the pubic bone. So what that means is when you pull in the transverse abdominis to create an upward pull on the a6 and the pubic bone to get the pull on the a6 what you're probably doing is activating or using the external obliques to create the actual upper pull on the a6 or the anterior superior iliac crest also spine a6 but so that you get an upward pull on the pubic bone what you're then doing is probably activating the rectus abdominis to create that upward pull on the pubic bone. And I should point out here that creating upward pull on the pubic bone can also be helpful for the knee joints because the gracilis attaches from the pubic bone runs down the inside of the thigh. And like the sartorius attaches just below the knee to the top of the tibia. So, so when activating the transverse abdominis you can then use your obliques and your rectus abdominis to create an upper pull on the front of the hip bones, making it easier to possibly alleviate knee pain simply by helping to anchor the front of the hip bones.